Hello everyone, here I'm just going to teach you some more things in the PHP. So actually, we just completed this area of the website, actually the front end of the website. Definitely, if I just click on the CMS system, now I can access to the index page and this is the nature page. This is the technology, okay? We can add many more headings here, actually many more navigations here, and then we can access from them by this means by their data by the way the search area is fully activated the sidebar is fully activated okay now the thing is actually we have to make the login area being activated but the problem is that before doing before activating this area we have to create the complete admin panel and then we have to make it workable then we can activate it so by the way for creating the admin area what I just have to do I'm just going to the folder where is the folder so I just have to find out that folder. Okay. So I'm just going to the XAMPP folder and inside the HD docs there is the CMS system and here I'm just making a new folder. The name of the new folder is admin okay. So now inside the admin I'm just creating a new index file sorry not folder actually I just uh, mistakenly created a new folder so I'm just going to the notepad plus plus and clicking on new one okay now I'm just saving this file as the admin in inside the admin as index.php index.php and press and enter and in this way I just created the index.php page here I'm just deleting this simple text and actually just creating the basic HTML hierarchy the HTML starting tag and the HTML ending tag in this way and then inside them the header tag okay then the body tag that is clear now inside the head tag I'm just going to do some more things here the title tag okay and then here inside the body tag I'm just adding some other things by the way I'll add that but here right now what I'm just doing typing the admin panel okay save that now I'm just going to the search that PHP or any other page this is the folder which is actually have the bootstrap so I'm just uh, copying all the folder okay but the problem is that this file the index.php is not in the CMS you know you can see that this is uh, when we just go back a little bit from the uh, admin folder then I got the CMS folder okay so now after that I got the PHP and the bootstrap is inside the PHP so by using this thing I'm just getting back to a single folder means I'm in the CMS and obviously the bootstrap is not in the CSS so let's just add another straps okay two more uh, two more periods two more slash one more slash and in this way I just accessed to the perfect way okay really simple now save that and just start whatever you just want first of all create the header tag uh oh not in this way actually the header should be look like that and then the cover the header okay perfect and then obviously the second thing should be the div and it should be the you know the class container then the footer okay that is clear now I'm just going to the header area and in this I just have to create the complete header so right now instead of creating a new header I'm just going to the header.php simply or actually I'm just creating or directly I'm just copying this includes inside the admin panel okay here I'm just pasting this or we can actually add them as a link but actually maybe the header of this admin panel will be changed so instead of adding the header tag I'm just adding the PHP here uh oh cover that in here I'm just typing the include and then the includes slash db dot php oh sorry not db right now actually the header dot php and the db should be at the top I'm just simply this is more perfect 
I'm just simply copying this PHP and here I'm just pasting this before the HTML and actually I'm just typing the doc type as well declaring the type of this HTML file save that go to the browser and just simply type remove the post.php or any other page and simply type cms slash admin now we are inside the admin panel and this is the admin panel and it, it have it has a lot of errors and why it has these errors first of all I'm just opening this header.php which I just added there so this is a file actually I'm just selecting the data through the category the category area so right now I'm just deleting this and just copying this li and uh, actually adding this or simply delete all that okay I'm just deleting the PHP right now I'll add the PHP later on but not right now so delete that save that go to the browser and refresh that now I got the header but why the two headers this can be a problem going to the index.php and there is the body and the header.php okay oh the problem I, I understood the problem actually if I just update the previous one okay and now I know the problem actually here I just uh, added the header instead of the DB so now I just type db.php and refresh that. Now I got one header with all the elements, but I just don't need these elements. So you can you know that I'm just getting the error just because this shouldn't be here. So what I'm just going to do is actually right now I'm just deleting the PHP again. Just want to show you that what was the problem. So I'm just going back and just removing the PHP. Actually, I don't need the PHP right now. This is a simple contact us page and this is login page, login area. Right now instead of the contact us page, because we are in the admin panel, we don't need any kind of contact us page. So this should be the home page. Okay, and here the thing is it should be the index.php. And you know about this index.php, this is the this is index.php which is inside the admin panel. So refresh that and okay, everything is fine now. If I just click on home, now I got the index.php page. If I just click on logout, nothing happens, you know, just because we didn't create the login yet, by the way. So now, what more I have to do? I'm just going to the index.php again, and actually I'm just going inside the container. 